Valentine and today I'll be doing my October haul. Um, please excuse the lighting if it looks really odd because I'm actually trying out, um, it's dark outside, but I'm actually trying out um, to see how my camera works with like artificial light. So sorry if it is a bit crappy but um, I thought I'd give it a go. So um, I have a ton of items here for my October haul. Um, I am going to try and whiz through them as quickly as I can. Just to let you guys know, I have in some cases converted the prices from dollars to pounds, so that's why the prices are kind of oddly exact. So without further ado, I will get into it. First items are from H&M. I got this fedora hat. Um, I absolutely love this. At first I was in the shop, I was going all over the place for trying it on. I wasn't sure about it, but I, I bought it. It was £12.99 or something like that, and I absolutely love it. I wear it all the time. So now I've got some stuff from Ordor. Ordor? I don't know. The first is this blouse. It is slightly sheer, um, if you can see that. And it has this kind of crochet flower detail on the front, and this is £20.50. Next item from Ordor is this um, velvet skirt. I wanted a velvet skirt for ages and this is perfect. And this is £18 and looks great with kind of black jumpers tucked in. Last item from Ordor is this paisley jumper. This is really confusing actually because you can kind of see the makeup for the jumper because and it's sheer material. I'd, I don't really know how it works. It's definitely the, the most unique jumper I've ever seen. This is £24 and it's going to be really good for the winter because it's actually quite thick. Got some items from Sheen side now. I've got more weather appropriate this time, well, for one thing pretty much, and I got this um, big coat, it's collarless but it's got like a kind of little bit that comes in if that makes sense, it's got really big pockets here and it's just a really good kind of boyfriend fit coat and it's only £22. I've got this pinafore as well from Sheen Side, I actually took outfit photos in this today and it fits me really really nicely. Um, it's proper denim, like really sturdy stiff denim, which I wasn't expecting because usually the quality can be a bit on and off. And um, it's got pockets as well, which is a real bonus. And this is actually only £16, which I think is a great price considering in Topshop they're like 40 I could not resist getting this jumper as well. Um, it is uh, a bit all over the place with the print. It is quite low quality compared to some of the other stuff from Sheen Side. But it's just, it's, I just love the print. It's got this grumpy cat, kind of just like t different kind of tumblery graphics. Um, which I think was just hilarious. And this was £16 as well. I thought this was one of the really cool things. Um, I was talking between this and the Birth of Venus um, sweatshirt. And I do really love this, but I do kind of wish I went for the Birth of Venus one, just because I do really, I did really like the colours in that one. But I'm still happy with this nonetheless. I'm, I'm really happy that it's got the print on the back as well. Um, and it's actually really, really high quality. It's by Mr. Goo Goo and Miss Go, which um, have loads and loads of different styles of um, all over printed items. And this was only £17. Now I have a dress, a really wintry dress. It's a kind of an all over rainbow. It's got a cut out at the front as well as the back. And a sweetheart neckline. I don't know, I just thought it was really, really sweet with the skater skirt. And this one is £23. This jumper you would have seen um, as I wore it in one of my videos. It's got kind of symbols all over it. Reminds me kind of Boy London just because it's got the the kind of eagle print on it. It's really really soft inside and um, fits really nicely and this is only £14 which I think is great. Last item but I think this is my favourite from She Inside. It is this mohair cardigan but it's not a kind of soft fluffy mohair. It's kind of a sturdier mohair but it's still really really soft. Um, it's got pockets at the front with um, moon and a star on it and then this is my favourite part. On the back it's got this huge like moon motif on it. I think it's just so unique for a piece, especially from Sheen Side, um, and I've never seen anything like it before. And this is actually only £22. Next I got some items from Chicwish. Um, first is this um, amazing unicorn print skirt. It is black on the back and it has a zip, so it would be nice if it was colour all round, but I'm not really that bothered. Um, because the print is just so insane. It's got two unicorns on it, rainbows. Honestly, what more could you want? And this is £22. The other item from Chicwish is this sequin uh, bomber jacket. It's just plain on the front and the back. And then along the sleeve, it's got um, a mix of like bronze and gunmetal sequins. And this was £31. Now I've got some stuff from Lovely Sally. I'm a huge fan of their um, designs. They always are on point with everything. And the first is a, a pair of leggings. These are the Sh Chicks Love Guns leggings. And they've got like orangey coral roses and gold guns with a greenish kind of tie-dye background. 
I absolutely adore these. They're not something I'd usually go for, but I just love them so much. And these are £37 and almost identical to Black Milk Leggings, just a lot less money. I definitely recommend these if you are kind of wanting some Black Milk but can't afford to pay the high prices and the ridiculous customs charges. Second item from Lovely Sally is this tartan dress with kind of a rose detail all up, like on the sides which I think is a nice touch. Um, it goes perfectly with the trend at the moment, everybody is loving tartan and it's good as well because you could wear like a, a black jumper over the top and just have the skirt showing through or just have the top and a skirt like vice versa. They do have these in leggings as well which I did really want to get but I already have a pair of tartan leggings in red so I thought I'd go for the dress instead. This is £40. Last thing from Lovely Sally is this dollar body. It's got kind of falling dollar bills all on it with a black at the bottom um, and it's a low cut back. This is actually a uh, swimsuit actually so I could wear this if I go swimming. And this is £36. Um, one off here, this is from London Love Sally. It's just this simple black tank with Teenage Runaway written on it. I just think it was a really like sweet piece, just wear it with almost anything. And it is £23. They've got then this print as well, they're on like sweatshirts and different colours. They've got some really cool stuff. Now I've got some Halloweeny stuff from Boohoo, because uh, I did a series of Halloween looks for them. First up is this eyeball dress. Um, I wasn't sure of this at first, but I put it on and it, I love the cut of it, like, it's amazing. And it is actually a mini dress, but I kind of just flipped it up as a mini dress, because I just prefer the cut, because I've got wide hips, mini dresses just don't do anything for me. And this was £12, I, th I've, I think it's now reduced to 8 so that's a bargain. Next, I don't know how I'm going to show this to you because it's um, full length. This is a sequin maxi skirt. Um, they're really really small sequins, it molts everywhere. It's kind of, it's got a mini skirt here, so you can see like the cut, and then it goes into a sheer sequin material, like all the way along. Um, it's really gorgeous, it is a bit big so I had to clip it for photos, which is kind of annoying. Um, I got a 10 because I thought um, it would be longer, but it's, and it is, it's a perfect length, just too big around my waist. It's only £20, so a really kind of high quality item for a good price. Next I've got some leggings. Um, this is just simple bone print, reminds me a bit of the Lazy Oaf stuff they had and I've got a jacket, a bomber jacket from Sheen inside of this print as well. Just really simple, nice fit. Unfortunately I think, don't think these are sold out but I'll try and link them if I can. We've got a couple of tops now. This first one is a, just a simple velvet cami, um, really really nice cut, um, can just wear it with almost anything and it's only a tenner. Then the last thing is this um, plain black jumper with a kind of um, distressing right at the bottom. It's kind of reminiscent of the Wild Fox jumpers and this comes in black obviously and white and a light grey I think and it's only 20 quid. I absolutely love this, I've worn it so much. I've got um, a pair of leggings now. These are quite Halloweeny actually still. They are from Tasty Cream. I thought at first it was shattered glass. Actually it's a black widow spiderweb. Perfect timing for all of them coming over to England. <laughs> but yeah these are also really really high quality um, just like my black milk leggings if not actually thicker than my black milk leggings. And these are even cheaper than the um, lovely Sally ones at just £32 which I think is a really really good price. Now some stuff from Motel Rocks. Um, I went to their uh, blogger party last night. Um, I was tempted to wear one of these but I thought no, everyone is going to be wearing Motel, so I don't want to have the same outfit crisis with someone else. The first dress is this tonal floor print dress with a low-cut V-back. Um, this is gorgeous and it is like a, a smock shift dress kind of thing. I don't know, it's like a thick chiffon, um, but yeah, I just love the print so much. And it is £38. The other dress from Motel Rocks, this is jersey, so it's kind of a more casual thing. Um, and it's got moons and stars all over it. This looks amazing with my moon cardigan from Sheer Side, which I featured. It's like a corset kind of back thing, and this is slightly cheaper at £35. I've actually now got a couple of items from OSAP. I received these, well, I was supposed to receive them in August, but um, they got caught up in the post, and uh, then they were really, really late, and then they got delivered to my dad's house because I forgot I put the wrong address. So I have them now, and I thought I'd feature them anyway now, even though I can't find them on the website. And the first is a pair of leggings. Uh, these have got kind of a dollar print all over them and um, they're, it's a co quite a good detail but um, I was quite annoyed when I received them because OSAP used the black milk photo of the dollar leggings that they do and um, they are a lot nicer than these ones. I don't know, I just, I'm just not much of a fan of them. Now the other item is a little bit obscene if I'm honest. It's this like printed tee with clouds on it that basically just says F off on the front. This is my hangover tee pretty much. Um, I've only ever worn it when I've had a hangover. 
Um, and it's actually got it on the back as well. I was at my um, friend Jess's in Bournemouth in the morning. I was hungover, went into the kitchen with one of her flatmates that she said to hardly knows. And I'm just in there with a cup of tea with a t-shirt that says fuck off on the front. I don't know, it's, it's just quite a funny t-shirt. I can resist getting it. And I have a dress, and this is from Lovestruck. A deep uh, emerald green colour, maybe bluey. Um, it's got this embellished pearl and um, diamante shoulder detail. And it also has a nice uh, slit in the back. Um, it's got kind of a low low cut sleeves, but it's got an underneath an underdress, if that makes sense. I haven't tried this on yet, but it's just not really very me, I don't think. I did kind of give them three options, um, and the first two were kind of the vel a velvet dress, which I really liked, but they sent me this one instead. Um, so I'm not sure if it's going to suit me that well, and if not, I might do a giveaway in my blog, so keep an eye out for that. This is £39. I've got now some stuff from She Likes. First is this tie-dye dress. It's got um, cut-out um, sleeves. It's kind of just a straight a straight down thing. It's only £14. And then I got a pair of shoes as well from uh, She Likes. Uh, I was annoyed I didn't feature these in my shoe haul, I just totally forgot. Yeah, they're kind of this big, nude, like, huge platform. And they do have an ankle strap you can wear with them, but I just prefer them without. But these make my legs look super, super long. And these are only £25. Last in the kind of clothing category. Uh, well, this isn't really clothing, but... Um, I have a pair of shoes, uh, these are from Melissa, they are from the collaboration with Julia Petit. They are kind of a green python um, colour and they are like a rubbery material. I, re I like the detail in that they go down low at the sides and they are actually really really comfortable and quite padded as well. I think they are really unique um, and because they are a dark colour they will go with anything really. Um, they were £55 and now they are only £25 so um, for a pair of Melissa shoes, that's a really good price. Now I've got some bags. The first one is this, um, it's called the Scarlet Bag in Plum. Um, it is like this kind of um, metallic purple colour. It's a really, really gorgeous colour. And then it's got um, snake, like a gold python snake material on the sides and then um, on, under the buckles as well. And then obviously it's got the whole Paul's Boutique um, dangly thing. It is just huge on the inside. I love the red lining. I could fit my laptop in here. Um, this would be a really good college bag actually. And the strap as well, it's got really cute that snake detail. As I've said so many times before, I absolutely love the new Paul's Boutique overhaul. Um, with their, they made all of their bags a whole lot more kind of luxe. I love, the I love all of the designs. I have three Paul's Boutique bags now and they're all just gorgeous. I now have another bag now and this is substantially heavier than the other one because I'm actually using it as my handbag at the moment. This is from Mark B and it's called the Penny Bag. It comes in brown as well I think and it is just massive. Um, like at first glance it doesn't look like that much of a large bag um, but then you open it out. I can fit everything in here. I'm thinking about doing a what's in my bag post because I've actually I've, I've gone so long without actually having a proper handbag I just grab any bag and go and this is this has fit the bill perfectly. I've got everything in here. It's got um, two three inside compartments. You can zip it up here as well so it does but I, I usually just um, fasten it with the clasp and it does also come with a shoulder strap um, which you just clip onto these parts here um, but I haven't used that so far I've just used it as like a crook of the arm bag. got some items now that aren't that wintry and it is a ton of sunglasses the first pair are from Well Vintage and these are £10 and I also got loads from Zero UV these are my favourite brand of sunglasses because they actually have proper like 100% UV protection and all of them are about £7, which considering you get them from Primark and they don't have any UV protection and they're just going to make your face all old and wrinkly from sun damage, paying an extra helmet like £3 for a pair of these is so worth it. So I'll go through them quite quickly. Round ones. Nerdy pixel ones. Cross my heart, hope to die ones. Round tortoise shell. Polka dot hearts. Oversized cat eyes. Matte black round ones and half frame ones. I still do actually wear sunglasses in winter just because it's it still does get sunny just not warm and Zero UV have a ton of other cool designs so def and they're always updating them so the site so definitely go check that out. Just a little item now. It's a beanie from P & Co. Um, I featured this in an outfit post already. It's proper um, good quality knitted and it's got a little leather patch and P & Co the guys that run it are just so lovely and this is just a really cute little hat. It goes nicely with my hair colour. I always think burgundy goes nicely with pink. And this is only 20 quid, and they've got loads of different varieties of beanies. Although my boyfriend wants to steal this off of me, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Now I've got some jewellery. First two pieces are from English Rose Designs. It's all handmade, 
um, and it's just a simple blue and brown like with silver detail bracelet. The other item is this um, wrap around wire ring and um, it keeps its shape all the time and it's just a simple kind of ring for mixing with like big stones and stuff like that. Um, this bracelet was £13 and this ring is £6.50. Got a pair of earrings as well. These are tiny little moons and these are from Moon Bright and are only £3.80. Last of all, um, I have some stuff from Zara Taylor. First thing is this um, little diamond, diamond shape ring and this is £15. Then I've got this bull ring which is really cool, definitely one of my favourites and it's so shiny and this one is £20. And then I have a silver chain. I have been wanting a silver chain for so so long. So the one from Zara Taylor fits the ball perfectly. It doesn't feel cheap, it's like a proper um, proper metal. And this is also £20. So yeah, that is everything. Um, I hope that didn't go on for too long. I really hope the lighting was okay. Um, it's kind of a trial and error thing. Everything I've mentioned I will try and link below. And I'll also put any discount codes that you guys can use to get some money off. I've also added a ton of items to my blog shop which I'll also link below. I need to make some money to pay for Christmas. And some of the stuff on there would be great gift ideas to give to others or just to treat yourself. And be sure to like this video if you like it. And if you have any questions or video suggestions, leave them below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.